Welcome to the Pearl River Pop History Podcast. Get to know your town in about five minutes, one landmark at a time. Hi, I'm Sarah Northfield, the children's librarian here at Pearl River Library, and I'm here with... Jim Cassetta, local history librarian and author. And uh, I am not from Pearl River, I know nothing about it, and that's why I'm asking Jim some who, what, when, where, why, and how questions so I can learn more about this wonderful town that I work in. So, um, Jim, how are you? I'm good. Again, just always in a, a positive, upbeat guy. No wonder you've got a fan club. I'm feeling effervescent. <laughs> so, um, what is our topic for this episode? What are we going to talk about today? Our topic for this episode is the um, corner where the Chase Bank sits. Okay, so kind of near where on one of our previous episodes where we talked about the cannon, it's right. within sight of the corner. And okay, excellent. So um, that's where it is. And then, so when is it from? When was that built? That was building was built in 1924. Okay, and it's built out of brick for two reasons. Mm -hmm. One, it is fireproof, mm -hmm. and secondly. The building is built in a way that would deter robbery. Actually, oh. it's the safe. It was a modern safe that would close automatically. Okay. This is important okay. because in 1921, when the bank of Pearl River mm -hmm. was in the general store, serving the general store on the uh, corner of Railroad Avenue and Central. So this guy, because again, on a previous episode we talked about, he was also the post office. Yes. So he, he did everything. He was the Mr. Uh, Haney of Pearl River. Okay, all right. So, um, so that was the, the only bank in Pearl River was in his shop. Yes. Okay. That was uh, his. It was originally formed at the top of a livery stable in the late 1890s. Okay. And um, they had it at, um, the safe was kept there because uh, my guess is that the United States government's postal service, the government, had provided a safe for postal money orders and things like that. Okay. So it was just a basic combination safe. Mm -hmm. So what uh, had occurred in 1921 was that a man named Midget Fernicus. Yes, Henry Midget Fernicus. Was he a baseball player? Because it sounds like that kind of name. No, like he was like king of the robbers. He, he was the Batman of crime prior to Dillinger and all those other guys. Okay. So he um, came to Pearl River one morning, parked his car on Washington Avenue, walked to the bank, uh, walked down Railroad Avenue and to the bank, where he um, wounded uh, a man who had heard the shots who came into the bank. He robbed the bank but didn't get any money and killed the teller and the guard. Oh, my God. Yep. The both of them died. Um, there was a eulogy in the Odd Fellows Hall for both of them. Mm -hmm. It was a big loss to the community. Mm -hmm. After this robbery, it was... Um, someone had said, we need more modern technology as far as bank safes go. Mm -hmm. And in 1924, they built the bank that was there. Now that bank, it has a first in Rockland County because in 53, it had the first drive-through window service. Oh. Correct. Amazing. Yeah, that was, you know, there's a lot of firsts in Pearl River and that's one of them. Mm -hmm. um, so what was this automatically closing safe? It, it, oh, the automatic, the, the, the safe had a timer. These were the first safes with timers. So a timer would put, was put in mm -hmm. um, in hopes that that would, the tellers could say, I'm sorry, I, because an argument was given to Fernicus, and he wasn't having it, so he shot the both of them. Okay. And the with the timer, they felt, hey, it's a timer. We, there's nothing we can do. Now, mm -hmm. is that going to deter the shooting of two men? I don't particularly think so, but mm -hmm. modernization was called for. Okay. And it was also a safe that was, you know, tremendous. You couldn't move it. Where the other safe was relatively small mm -hmm. and might have been on wheels. Oh, so, 
very convenient to just, you could just take the whole thing. Right, because we do know from the paper that served and uh, was robbed in the late 1890s, the general store, rings were taken and, you know, other jewelry, and they just wheeled it out. That's how they did it. <laughs> Broke it open, and that was that. So uh, the building with the, uh, the bank had its, um, its impetus to be built was because of the robbery. Really shook everybody in town to their core. Prior mm -hmm. to that, it was a general store. Before the Civil War, a uh, guy named Johnny Mears mm -hmm. uh, ran it, and then the Rawweiser's, Rawweiser's brother, Ra excuse me, Rawweiser brothers purchased it, and at some point, uh, it was moved up Central Avenue to become the campus luncheonette, uh, Raphael's Pizzas in that building. Okay. That's building, that building is part of the original um, general store that was there. Oh, really? Pr yeah, prior to the um, bank. Okay. And that's really all the points of interest with the bank. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This program is written and produced by Jim Cassetta, Sarah Northshield, and the Pearl River Public Library. Editing and original music by Steve Hamilton. For more information about any of our topics or to suggest your own, please contact us at pearlriverlibrary.org or call 845-735-4084. Thank you for listening and tune in next time.